Hello, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, Outside the Box, 333. This is an Isis, Goddess Isis Oracle Card Reading. So, Initiation, Spiritual Testing of Ra and the Lady Isis. So, Ra is a sun god. And Initiation, Spiritual Testing and Lady Isis. So, Initiation means you are brought into something new. And it's something different from what you've experienced before. And usually when you go, are initiated into something, you know, you are usually tested because you're coming out of your comfort zone and into something new and something completely different. And the Lady Isis, she has, um, she's all about fertility and loyalty and being um, the mother of earth and water and she's all about um, creation as well and so there's a lot of like newness to all those descriptions so the initiation spiritual testing so quite often or right now you're very likely going through a new new season you're leaving an old circle an old cycle and you're stepping to something new. This year has definitely been a new one for you. And you've and you're also realizing that you are more than just a human being going to bed, sleeping, eating, going to work, repeating the cycle over and over again. You're meant for something more. You have a more of a purpose in life, and that is to raise yourself up to higher levels and others as well and really affect people in a really profound and amazing way. And um, so this newness is different and it might feel like a test, but it's not, it's just stretching you. It's growing you out of your comfort zone. You're becoming more of who you already have been and you're just getting to know yourself more. So he has like a bird type of face, sort of like the falcon and the bigger, um, birds like eagles and hawks and stuff like that are all about pulling away from the details and pulling up to a higher level and looking down and seeing the bigger picture and knowing that it's okay and that this is all it is and it's and might as well embrace it and enjoy it because once you become aware you can't go back to where you were um this is time for it's time for you to embrace it to accept it and be like okay how can i use this to the best of my advantage and for the rest of my life and so she's like in some ways, she looks like a little sad, that and she's sort of like looking behind her at like what she's leaving behind, and but know that um, um, the sun god, the, your north star, your true purpose is there, and being like, okay, this is the direction that we're going in, and so um, and you, she knows, she knows she can't go back, and she can only move forward, so. Okay, the Knot of Isis, energetic stabilization with the buckle of the beloved. So very likely as you are growing forward, you might notice that some of your relationships are um, shifting and changing as well. And that's part of the process. As you become more of who you are, you truly want those who are truly in alignment with who you are and not holding you back. But those who are going forward with you and like, yeah, we got ya. <laughs> and um, so with the Knot, it usually has like two parts it's like one piece but has like two parts to create that knot and that knot is actually better to with two so two pieces and stronger and so know that some of the stabilization could be those in your life or those new that are coming into your life that are going to help to move you forward and they're going to help to stabilize you and and again they're also in a similar path as well so you might be sad about what you're leaving behind are you stepping into this newness that will with people who will get you even better and it's better it's for your higher and greater good as well and as you look at this picture it's sort of in some ways it's nondescript at the same time it's also a symbol and know that um, you can choose to make your life however you want it to be you get to describe it and you can either make it better or you can look at it in a really bad and negative light and be like, whoa, you know, woe is me. 
but you already know you're moving forward so just go with it and know that um, greater good is coming into your life with people and opportunities and relationships flower of life divine creativity and manifestation so I feel like whoever I'm talking to here is probably more of the feminine energy um, so flower of life divine creativity and manifestation so it's just a really beautiful card flower of life means that you're blooming and growing and blossoming and you're coming up out of where you were and before, before you were just a bud and greenery and a seed, but now you are go, coming into more full circle, more completeness, more of who you are. Um, sometimes when you leave behind what you thought you knew about yourself, you actually um, get to meet more of who you are and actually who you are fits even better than who you were before. So there's a flower of life and... Um, like this, like it says, like this circle here means stepping completeness and coming out of a cycle. And you can make the cycle and circle how, whatever you want, good or bad, and know that um, this divine creativity really comes from the solar plexus. I mean, from the sacral plexus, which is all about the womb space and divine femininity and your sexuality and your passion and your creativity. And letting all those things fully come out. As you can see, she's like partly naked. And she's like, this is who I am. I was born this way. <laughs> and so she's completely loving it and allowing it to happen. And again, there's two of the um, falcons here. Again, reminders to pull out of what you get so lost in. And really see the bigger picture and be like, you know what? What really matters is me. And I get me and that's all that matters. And I love me and that's all that matters. I am complete. I am whole. Anybody else coming into my life is not to complete me or to make me feel whole, but it's to go forward in life with and ultimately um, be a better person because of that relationship. Abundance of solace, stellar blessings of the celestial goddess of abundance. So you go from being worried about where you what you're leaving to knowing that people in your life are going to be better and supporting you to you really stepping into your power and really loving who you are and where you have come to be and know that a part of you stepping into your power and being in more into the flow is abundance just naturally happens and um, before there was like resistance resistance to everything in your life and now there's more flow and acceptance and um, you have abundance just shining down from the heavens and um, know that the universe, however you want to look at your higher self, um, or God, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> um, is shining down on you and it's got your back. And again, there's circles here again. So it's really about, and these are the golden circles here and they're beautiful. And they're like, we, we got you and who you are is amazing and beautiful. And we love you and we got your back and just keep moving forward. Even if it might feel somewhat uncertain keep moving forward because you will reach the point where things just naturally flow in by you being who you are in your highest and best self and um, you won't ever have to worry or lack for anything so thank you so much um, again this is the goddess Isis Oracle deck from Elena Fairchild make sure you're liking commenting subscribing and following and sharing with others and um, and all my channels, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and also make sure to check out my Etsy store as well.